Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello. Look at this, we're not starting a vlog in a car. That's pretty cool. Oh geez. We don't have it yeah, yet. our car's not here yet. But today our truck arrives well not our truck, but the truck with our stuff arrives. We're very excited. The internet guy already stopped by and hooked up our internet. So that's pretty cool. And what else? My dresser, my makeup storage dresser thingy, it's very sunny is going to be delivered soon so we just stepped out to grab some lunch because then we're going to basically be stuck inside for the rest of the day because you know how they are they're like yeah we'll be here between however many hours <laughs> so yeah um but yeah once we're back i'll uh show, i hopefully the dress will be delivered as soon as we get back and then i'll show you guys that yeah so, we're lost just trying to find you a little bit yeah but it's good we're getting to know our neighborhood which is nice <laughs> also we're still not used to the whole like no plastic bag thing and it's an adjustment and i already have like a lot of like little canvas bags and stuff like that that i always try to use in new york but obviously there it was optional like they would give us bags but here we kind of forget and we don't have my canvas bag so we just get there like we went to rite aid we bought a couple stuff and they were like oh crap so yeah, we had to buy a little bag, <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it. Also, what's up with the no straw thing? Like we heard yeah, there was the no plastic straws allowed in California. I was prepared for that. Uh, I even looked into like a little metal straw cause I always like, you know, using straws for drinks. But every place we've gone to, they've given us plastic straws. And I was like, I thought you guys cared about the environment and stuff, you know? Nope disappointed in california uh, there's just like certain <laughs> companies i heard did that but i don't know oh uh, i thought it was maybe like a law to, maybe we go to starbucks or something maybe they're like you know higher up maybe we'll see but yeah i definitely still want to get myself a metal straw and carry around our canvas bags in the car right yes <laughs> that i don't know if i'll ever get over the view of like the mountains in the back it's so cool. I just love seeing that. Right, babe? Back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're back. And it's here. A I'm box. Out of the box without scissors or a knife. So, wish us luck. <laughs> okay. Yep. Sorry, so good. organize all my beauty products and stuff and then I can put the little labels you guys have probably seen this before I know quite a few youtubers have it I first saw it like years ago when Zoella got it and I just loved it so been wanting it for a long time thanks for cleaning up <laughs> I'm coming to help I think maybe one day I'll do a whole video like organizing my makeup in this all right, well, the truck is finally here. Um, it's pretty late. We're not really supposed to move in like after seven and it's 6.30. So I don't know if they're gonna be able to bring everything in before then, but hopefully it's okay. Um, and yeah, they actually made us pay extra cause they said our apartment is too far from the street, which I just wish they had told us that before, but whatever, at least their stuff is here and they're gonna start bringing things in. So they've brought in uh, quite a few boxes already and I'm actually telling them to just put it in the living room and then I'm kind of like taking them where they need to be. So I'm trying to keep most of like the, mm, I would say living room, but also things that I'm not sure, I guess where they're going yet here and then putting like the appliances and stuff like that, all the kitchen things in there. And then I also started moving my clothes into the walk-in closet. That's where I'm gonna keep most of them. 
So I put some things in here and then I have some boxes with more clothes and then I believe this one is like makeup and beauty products and stuff like that. So that way it'll just be easier to unpack if they're already, you know, where they need to be. I'm actually a little torn because part of me just wants to like just keep the boxes in every room and then start maybe tomorrow like unpacking everything little by little or not little by little but like room by room but then another part of me just wants to start opening them and putting stuff in their places but I feel like I just need a clean before I do that and we need to go out and buy some cleaning products and also I just think it might get a bit dusty with them like constantly going outside and bringing things in so I should wait but I just I really want to start opening things oh well, that's awesome to see I heard a noise when they brought this box in, so I decided to open it, and the mirror from the bottom of this tray completely cracked. I don't get why they didn't protect it, it's so weird. The good thing I still like the tray even without the mirror, but kind of sucks. There are actually a lot of boxes that like are open and completely like smashed, so we're gonna have to look, see if anything was damaged. Like this also, they like put tape directly on it, and some parts got like all messed up and yeah it just doesn't look the best but they're supposed to reimburse us for anything they you know break and whatnot so hopefully they actually do that the box where my KitchenAid is looking a little messed up but hopefully it's good because this is like my baby so yeah I'm a little scared to open it the guy did say we have three weeks to open everything and see if it's all okay and let them know and I definitely plan on having everything unpacked before three weeks, so... Yeah, I just hope it's like, if anything is ruined, I hope it's something that's not like irreplaceable. Because some things, like, yeah, they could give us the money for it, but I just can't find it again. Or maybe it's something like sentimental, so... I'm a little scared, but hopefully everything's okay. Our fridge was just delivered! It's very cluttered in the kitchen right now, so I'll show you guys a bit better later, but... It's nice and black and it's actually really big. We were looking to get something small since it's just the two of us and the kitchen isn't the biggest, but we actually got this one at a really good deal and I actually like it. It doesn't even like, I was scared that it was gonna come out of like past the counter too much, even though it's still, you know, behind that wall, but I think it looks fine. You like it, babe? Yeah. We can finally cook and stuff. <laughs> no more microwave and eating out. <laughs> All right, we are gonna take on the kitchen now. We're gonna open up all our new appliances that are still in boxes, clean, and yeah, put our plates and stuff, and then go get some food to put in our fridge. <laughs> all right, we've removed all the appliances, took them out of the boxes, we have to clean. But, we're gonna put some stuff to wash in here and we need to peel the plastic. That's not as satisfying as ah. I thought. <laughs> it's still on the side. Oh. Well, while you work on that, oh, let me get through. Okay, this is not as easy. <laughs> okay, like, I'm gonna like do this, this one. It's like in this crevice. Oh, I see. Yeah, That's you have fun with that. I'm gonna do this one. Oh, yeah. And then it, the stove has it. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> uh, anything else? I think that's it, huh? I already took this stuff off the fridge. We just got some packages. This is for Caleb to organize his clothes. I think that's a doormat. Also, it's pretty messy in here. These are all the empty boxes so far. I'm, I'm getting Caleb's opinion on the placement of the appliances before I do the final decor. So I try to keep this kind of open so we could prep stuff. Here, this you guys might be wondering what that is. It's for cereal. Um, and then have your little electric kettle. I put that off to the corner because it's not used as much, I guess. And it's really big. 
toaster oven here so we can use it all the time this i also feel like we're not going to use that much so also off to the corner paper towel and then our little coffee station i don't know what do you think yeah. what <laughs> i don't think the electric kettle like that's the one of the things i feel like we can put away oh really i'm filling up our little containers from magnolia we got all of them from our wedding registry actually i think these two i hadn't even added but then my cousin got it for me or my aunt got it for me i don't know my memories <laughs> but i filled this one up with the pepper the salt and then oh hey there <laughs> and then i put this one with sugar we also have the cream one but i'm gonna leave that in the cupboard we're gonna head out for lunch but before we do we need to put this out how cute is that we got that out walmart right yeah yeah it was like 11 bucks and it's so cute i love it start to feel like home so here are all the things that were damaged during the move they did a terrible job packing so this tray which had a mirror at the bottom completely shattered my beautiful cake stands that my sister got me from magnolia the glass part completely shattered they just put it in a trash bag and all this stuff okay i've been working on the kitchen and it's kind of complete like i'd say there are a few things missing but for the most part it's complete um so yeah i want to show you guys so here's what it looked like i'll do some little before and after shots for you guys but basically this is a little overview we have our fridge and i do think it ended up looking pretty cool like the black with the white and then here we have our little dry food dispenser where we keep our cereal that is so handy i've been loving it got our little salt and pepper containers and utensils my beautiful mixer from KitchenAid. oops we have a little thing here to hold like the spoon when you're cooking um and yeah knives cutting boards little vinegar thingy which is actually empty right now little towels Toaster oven, blender, roll, rolling pin? I don't know what that's called. But yeah, we have my little Mickey and Minnie right here, which my grandma gave me. So cute. And then the paper towel holder that's also marble and matches that, which I really like. Here's our little coffee station. I like that the basket kind of kept everything like more organized. I put the little sugar container here since we need that for the coffee and yeah i think it looks really cute the things that i still need are like i want to put a little hook i have some aprons up here that i think maybe i'll hook here and then we need a fruit basket but other than that that's pretty much it i also put a little beverage dispenser over there because i like room temperature water i know that's weird but i do and so i want to get some of the filtered water and keep it there so i can have that but then we can also have cold water so yeah that is the kitchen and I am super in love with it. I also did um, kind of decorate the bathroom, so I'm gonna show you guys that too. And I almost forgot, over here in the fridge, we have our little magnet section where we're actually collecting magnets from different places we visit. So that's from our honeymoon. This is from Disney, I think we got it this last time we went. And yeah, Williamsburg, these obviously are Disney ones too, so we have a lot more to collect. But yeah, and then the other thing I wanted to show you guys is our trash can because it's actually super cute. I love that it's like white and copper and yeah, just matches everything really well. All right, so here is the bathroom. too much to show but I put this little rug here here I have my little magnolia set I actually didn't realize this came with that like underneath and I already have a little dish here for like putting jewelry when we shower so we have an extra one <laughs> but yeah then like in here I was able to put little cotton rounds and then cotton swabs in there the dispenser which is super cute these mirrors are actually really nice like not only do they have the lights but it has a ton of storage so I was able to organize all our products. One side is for Caleb, one side is for me. And yeah, over here we have this little basket where I put extra bath towels, have our little 
trash can there and stuff. Over on this side, we have our towels, which are huge, and I love them. They're so fluffy and little face towels. And then our shower curtain, which is pretty simple, but I just thought like the little fringe details are so cute. So yeah, that's our bathroom. All right, well that's gonna be it for this video. Obviously we have a lot more to do, so make sure you subscribe so you see the next videos where we'll be decorating the rest of the house. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe, as I just said. But yeah, until next time, bye.